Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today, I want to come and introduce what is called pop art. Pop art is exactly what it sounds like, things that are popular, things that are very common that we see every day, but sometimes we don't even realize that they are a piece of art. And two artists that we're going to think about today is the first one is Wayne Tabot. If you are a third grader, you will have heard and know that name. He is someone, he's from um, California, and he was known as the dessert painter, liking to focus on cakes, pies, things that are very, very yummy, sweet treats and he would paint them in a real playful manner that would also have kind of an idea of texture, the way the whip, the whipping would look like his paint. Um, and then the other artist that we're gonna talk about is Andy Warhol. He was an artist that liked focusing on that idea of mass production, things that would be made in a factory, things that would be created over and over and over, things like soda, or soup cans. A lot of times he would focus on movie stars, money, things that we would, wouldn't necessarily think about making a piece of art with. And so I'm gonna actually combine both of those artists and I'm gonna create a piece of art with you today. So I'm gonna think about Wayne Tabot and creating ice cream. And I'm gonna think about Andy Warhol where I'm gonna create that repetitive image over four times. So using a piece of paper, I'm going to begin by folding it the hot hamburger way, okay? And then I'm gonna open it. And then I'm going to fold it again, but the hot dog way. So when I open this, I now have four rectangles that are very, very close in size. I will then use my Sharpie and I'm just going to draw a nice black line in or on each of those crease lines, just so I can actually see those rectangles. So in my first box, thinking about an ice cream, you could think of a waffle cone or a sugar cone, or you could actually think of like a cake cone that has a little bit more of a shape. So for my first cone, I'm gonna create an upside down beginning of a triangle, but I like to create a little bit of a curved line. So it gives that idea that that cone is a sil or up not a cylinder, sorry, <laughs> a pyramid, like a, a comb. All right, so I'm gonna come in here, create some curved lines, same thing here. Okay, so there's my first comb, and then I'm gonna create one scoop and two scoops, and if you want, you could always add a little cherry. I think those little d details are very fun. So I'm gonna actually repeat that four, three other times. Obviously each cone will be a little different because I'm not using a tracer or a stencil, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm gonna continue. So after you create your cones, if you want a little variety, you could come in and add a different flavor of ice cream whether you wanna create some details that can be colored in or when you go in and start coloring. Today I am using just a Sharpie, just a black marker, and I'm gonna use crayons today to add my color. So these are both two supplies that hopefully you have, and if you don't, you can use whatever you do have, that's fine. So let's just say in this one, I wanna create some chocolate chips. <laughs> Okay, and maybe in this one, I wanna create some strawberries. And in this one, I could create some swirls. I'm leaving some of them blank because I would like to add um, just, just a solid. I'm gonna do some sprinkles on this one. Maybe a couple little garnishes in there, okay? So after you are done drawing, like I said, I have some crayons and I'm going to start coming in and adding some color. And so hopefully, as you watch this, 
you have the opportunity to create your own. So I will be back after I finish coloring so you can see the finished piece. All right. Okay, so here I have my finished artwork and you can see I went in, I did different colors, um, had fun with different flavor ideas, all with crayon. I'm adding just a little brown in here to add some dimension and some detail. So I hope you enjoy this project and if you make one, please send me a picture to email and um, to my wits email and that would be great. I can save them and add them to a, a video montage. I hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye.